Alright guys, this is Trey with Total Justice Gaming. This is an update to the battery acid deck profile. Um, Dragon World Flag, put the little bots SD on the back of it just to be stupid. Um, our buddy is the bearer of sins bots. This is the one from the uh, secret pack from the newest set, Crossing Generations. Um, so, let's see, uh, size 2, 7, 2, 4, pay 1 gauge, call cost, during your turn cannot be destroyed. Um, then this one's effect is at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have 4 life or less, call a size one, up to 1 size 1 Thunder Empire from your deck by paying its call cost and shuffle your deck. And then it has a natural built-in double attack. Really? So, really? Alright, so we're going to get in this really quick. We play. What's happening is there. Alright, we're playing four copies of the buddy. Um, right, there's that. And then we're playing two copies of the ugh, undying, un unyielding rampage dragon bots. Um, this one is the uh, 734. Call cost pay one gauge and naturally cannot be destroyed during your turn. And then um, this one's effect is when you. When this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monster, stand this card. Uh, it's not once per turn, so it can just keep going. Um, if they have Soul Guard, you can just keep destroying it over and over again. Um, if you have four life or less, this card can this card's attack cannot be nullified if it's attacking alone. Um, so this card is is really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a shout out. We Mamba Boy wanted to play Thunder Empire, so. Mamba Boy, his buddy is this one, and his deck actually works perfect for him the way it is. Um, there's a few variations between his deck and mine, but um, overall this card is, is a good card. I played as two of. And then I tech in one of the original Demon Lord Dragon Bots, uh, 724, pay one gauge, uh, and then during turn camp destroyed, and then uh, at the beginning of battle phase, double attack, and then if you have four, less, so four life or less, uh, plus 3,000 power and triple attack, so you guys know what he does. Um, all right, so that's it for the size twos. For the size ones, we play three misfiring demon globes. Um, he's a three-one-one. The split their reward ability. Uh, when another Thunder Empire enters your field, imp monster enters your field. Top card deck engage and draw a card. Um, and then you can only use the ability once per turn. And then when this card attacks for this turn, a card on your field gets crit plus one. So we run that as a three of it. Should be mained in every Thunder Empire deck. Um, we cut this back from the original build, but also as a three of, we're playing the Trilight of the Black Sword. Um, he's our one 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 with double attack. That when he attacks, you can pay gauge and destroy a monster on the opponent's field. Um, overall, he's good for field control. Very good. Uh, we play that three of. Um, and then we play three Deltas, the Raid Officer Delta, same as we used to. He's our 6 one, one. Uh, When he attacks, you have another Thunder Empire on your field. You put top card deck in your gauge. So generic beat stick and gauge uh, initiative uh, thingy. Uh, there we go. Uh, this deck is more size one heavy than the original one was, uh, I believe. I played four copies of the Replenisher Pentar. Um, he's a 3-2-1. When he enters the field, if you have an item equipped, you draw a card. I mean, that's just good all around. Um, but I play four of that. And then, let's see, moving on. So, that's all for our monsters. Uh, we play, of our items, we play four of the Arc Dragon Sword. Um, you guys know what this does. It's 6-2, equip cost one gauge. Destroy card. This can't be destroyed by effects by your opponent's card effects, and then uh, all Thunder Empires get plus two. And then our, we swapped out our dual sparks for Arc Dragon Pistol. Uh, this is a five-two. Equip cost pay one gauge, pay one life. So the equip cost is exact same as the dual spark. Um, when it attacks and destroys an opponent's monster or deals damage to your opponent, deal one damage to your opponent automatically. So. I mean, as long as the attack hits, you're going to deal at least one point of damage. It helps out a lot more. Um, overall, it's a good card. Um, so that's it for our items. Um, so shields, we play four arc dragon shield. You guys know what these do. And pay gauge, nullify attack, draw card. And then our other four shields are the green dragon shields, uh, nullify the attack, gain life. Um, then we play four copies of 
Bot's X-Link. Um, this is the, if you attack three times or more, you can cast it as a counter. Look at the top three cards of your deck, put one in your hand, put the other two in the gauge, and gain one life. You can only use it once per turn. Um, in... <laughs> okay. That was the Mamba's quote for the video. Alright, um, guys, you need to run this at least a three of, I'd recommend four. In just about every deck that guarantees you three attacks a turn. It's just really good. Um, this is a new card. This is, it comes as a rare and it's also in the secret pack uh, from the newest set, Crossing Generations. Um, this is uh, Thunder X-Flash. Uh, you might only cast this card if you have Thunder Empire Monster on your field. Choose a Thunder Empire Monster on your field and a card on your opponent's field. Destroy the chosen cards. So this card is perfect for bots within the fact that it I mean, this card can only be played during turn, clearly, and then bots can never be destroyed during turn. So you always just select bots as the target, and then you select any other card, item, spell, monster. Um, if people are still playing set impacts, you can blow that up too. Um, it's just overall, it's a good card. Uh, run it as a three of. Um, we play three copies of Dragonic Thunder, Rage of the Thunder Dragon. This is our mill three, destroy a size one or less. Um, it's it's really good for interrupting plays and nuking stuff on the opponent's turn. That's so awesome. Um, we play two copies of Thunder X Doll. This is uh, our counter that uh, lets us keep one of our Thunder Empire monsters on the board. Or no, wait. Uh, no, it's Thunder Empire period, so this will work on anything, including the items. It just says, choose Thunder Empire on your field for this turn, the next time the chosen card will be destroyed, it remains on the field. So it just saves our cards. Um, it's good. Um, play two copies, and this is, this is, a, this card is needed, and we didn't know how much until we actually started using it. Um, this card is in the name of the Thunder Empire. Uh, cast cost, pay two life. Choose two Thunder Empire monsters from your drop zone and call them onto separate areas by paying their call costs. You may only cast this once per turn. This does really good late game, early game. Uh, if you're playing against an opponent that mills your deck out, it helps if they mill out the cards that you needed. Um, if you're playing against an opponent that wants to float you at five and control the board, uh, you can just let them attack the board instead of wasting your shields and then just use this the next turn and drop yourself below four, which will activate all of your abilities. Overall, this is a really good card. I'm considering upping it to three, maybe, or at least throwing one in my side deck. Um, but right now, it's good two of. Um, and then for right now, as a one of, we're playing the Demon Lord's uh, Roaring Dragon Blast. Uh, cast cost, pay to gauge, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field, and draw cards equal to the number of cards destroyed. So, I mean, it doesn't see much play, but it is when it when it is used, it is very useful. Um, if they're playing a size one rush deck where it's size one heavy, you can potentially destroy three monsters. Um, I know when the chaos stuff comes out, can the chaos monsters be destroyed? Size thirties can't be destroyed. But size thirties can't, can't, but they can have a total of ninety nine on their board. So if they don't luck into all the size thirties, then that means that they can get a bunch of size threes, and you can just blow up a lot. Um, it has the potential for bigger, um, but we play it as a one of right now. That's it for our spells. The last two cards we play on the deck are Thunder, Lance, X, Tempest, Buster. These are your impacts that say your opponent's dead. You fulfill the requirements, your opponent dies. No, nothing. Um, I believe this is a 53 card deck, guys. I have a question. I have an answer. What do, you, what do you do when you play against Chaos and they have two monsters in the center, nerd? Get wrecked. Well, when Chaos comes out, if we feel that's a problem, we'll probably side deck into our maximum skill breaking you flames. Oh, you can so impact twice, I guess, technically. I can impact as many times as possible as long as it's not impact hole, unless you're playing Zeta. But um, we could do that, Chaos. or we can Chaos. play the Chaos. one from the trial deck. Which is pay four gauge. If you're if you attack two or more times, okay, you can deal four that. damage to your opponent. <laughs> I'm trying to interrupt. It doesn't video. require your opponent to have an empty center, guys. So if they get to that, we're probably gonna side one of those. Where, the, where is the camera at? All right. Chaos. Hand out of the way. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, that is all for the battery acid deck profile. We will probably put up Fuller's version of bots with Better his Better version unmute. coming soon to a theater near you, bro. I'm kidding with him. I love you, buddy. Come on. All right. <laughs> Better version that Trey built yeah, out of man. all of his cards. Yes, you did very good today. I'm very proud of you. All right, guys. This is Total Justice Gaming signing out. Bye.